cup of wine that is poured out for the sake of labor, honor, and love. Many days you still sit at the same table and eat and drink together. Many are the experiences you will share. As with a glass of wine, one of you may find it sweet, the other perhaps dry or, someone, or somehow different. Let the drink you share today serve as a reminder that although you may perceive things very differently, being right is never more important than being happy. With this space that you give each other, always putting your commitment to love and honor <coughs> and another first, your lives together will grow deeper, richer, and greatly satisfying, like a rare and fine one. We will start. You start. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're up. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I just want to share you for thank you for sharing your kindness, generosity, and love with me to make me a better person. And I am grateful to have ten years and hope. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for putting up with me over these 10 years we've been married and 15 years we've known one another. Let's look forward to multiples of those 10 and wonderful glasses of wine together. Oh. And I will tell you at the end what the wine is. Okay? Oh, okay. Alright, next. Okay. Uh, after 49 years, yeah. you're still my favorite person. Yeah. You made me laugh. And I'm surprised. And I love you. And make me mad. <laughs> I was going to say that after 49 years, I don't think anyone else would want us. <laughs> it's been a wonderful year, and I hope you're as happy as I am. Whether we're in this beautiful setting here or sitting at a kitchen table drinking coffee, every moment I cherish with you. You fill my heart. You are the love of my life, holder of my dreams, keeper of my heart. Fifty-three years, there has been some whining. <laughs> Everything has not been rosé. <laughs> but I can say with clarity <laughs> that uh, this, this relationship has been the premier grand crew. Oh. <laughs>
Forty-six years have passed. I'd like a drink of wine. <laughs> big, big, bold start. Delicious middle. And here's looking forward to a long, smooth finish. Carol and I met in college at a Halloween party our freshman year, and uh, the first I thought he was kind of bold but awkward. And he wanted me out of that Halloween dance so I wouldn't meet any of the other people on his force and walk me home right away. <laughs> and then he asked me for a day. And then I said, sure. So I didn't go back to the party like I was planning to because I'm going to go out on a date. <laughs> but he is the most loving, given, brilliant, and driven man I've ever known. And his love for me has always been pure and true and right up front. And <coughs> his love for our children and our grandchildren just reflects the kind of a wonderful person he is. And I love him with all my heart. It's hard for us to talk. <laughs> I know. Oh my God. Sometimes you just have to take a leap of faith. <laughs> I, I met Eric I and knew him for three days, <laughs> and then uh, I fell in love with him. I, it, love at first sight. That's yeah, and I'm so glad I married my best friend. Oh, oh. Yes. well, I, th I think we learned a lot this week. What I've learned is sometimes you need to slow it down and smell roses. All the breadfruits. I feel I felt very lucky to be here today, and I felt very lucky uh, to have met uh, such a beautiful and caring wife for the last 23 years. I'm looking forward to many, many more trips and, and uh, you know, time with you. <laughs> You going first? I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> We've been married for 50 years. We've known each other for 50 years. <laughs> oh, the sunshine in my day. My strength. My way on my pad. I love you forever. <laughs> I have loved you and held our original vows with fidelity for 50 years. I love you still. And I intend to love you and hold our vows in fidelity for whatever time the good Lord gives us, especially those vows about sickness and health. back home, but although we are apart today physically, you're always right here. You're always right here. <laughs> you're always right here. And you have been for 40 years. Thank you so much. It's been a privilege. And I'll have to tell you, you missed a, a lesson in class yesterday that I really thought about last night, about relation, how relationships and food and wine are very much alike. And one thing we learned yesterday, and it made me think about relationships, was 
Sometimes you need, sometimes the wine and food are sort of comparable and that's why they get, they go so well together. Sometimes you need a contract. <laughs> <laughs> I think after the experience yesterday, we are so ten and that wonderful blue cheese. I mean, <laughs> about as different as you could think, but just perfect together. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you lots. And uh, more to follow when I get home. Cheers. 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 Cheers.